Mackerel by Wet Jeans. What? What? Guinness? I'm guessing it's a compound word, but it's not Mackerels and Macintosh. It's Mackerels and MacGyver, the roguelike. Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're looking at another game from the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. I'll be Atomic Knife. Yeah, my name's Atomic Knife. Pick menu. Ooh, there's stuff in this game. There's stuff in this game. Um, press cursors to move. Okay, so this is just normal arrow keys. Space bar to select a menu item. If you are pressing standing, nothing, anything. Space bar to interact. Okay. Oh, we have time. The helipad. Look around you. Yeah, look at the tools, my loots, and this Swiss binoculars. A twitcher's best friend. This is just simple painted on the ground. No, you may not really pick it up. It really is just paint. Okay, well, uh, I figure I'll get these Swiss binoculars. And what else do we have here? We got a small wooden chair and nothing useful. So what is our objective? I don't think I read the game. There's no read me, at least not directly. Uh, I got a well, a friendly wooden log. Just take a look at it. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that, I guess. But I don't know what I'm trying to get to do. I'm just trying to pick. Up. Whoa! A large pile of rubble blocks your way. Well, I have loots. Tools, Swiss Army knife. There's nothing close by that can be used on. What if I let's see. Drop this Swiss Army. No, nothing. Huh. I was kind of hoping that that might be something that could be used on it. We'll get this then. Is there and can I use the Swiss binoculars? Well, not quite that. Equip them so they're equipped. I guess. Oh. So that's what it means to equip them. It means that it's part of my tools instead of my loots. Uh, small wooden chair, nothing useful. Small wooden chair, nothing useful. What's this time limit? Oh! Before you is a state-of-the-art computer interface circa 1984. You seem capable of exploding at the slightest malfunction. Go figure. Thanks for coming, Mac, and I know if anyone can help us, it will be you. Who should I talk to? Charlie Burke, director of the lab. Is that you? Is that you? Ah, oh, that's Charlie. Dr. Charlie Burke. Uh, how does it stand right now? Well, Merlo's fine. Steubens was unconscious for a while, but he's coming around. We've been able to maintain any communication for more than a few seconds at a time, and they are both trapped 300 feet down, 20 other people, and we have no idea how or where they are. You got anybody I can talk to building layout? Yes, indeed. Andy Coulson. What about time? We have an acid leak. Oh, okay. So that's that's the reason for the acid leak. Okay, so let's see. The whole shaft is protected by laser. Is this really how the MacGyver show went? That is, this is gas or infrared. So you boys take your elevator shafts pretty seriously. Got a cigarette? That's. I wonder if. Uh, well, I'll just say this. Well, what happens if I say it? Oh, really? Huh. I take my lighter too. No thanks. I carry my own match. Do I? Was that part of what I do? Oh, look at. Okay, so as I. Holding on to stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Look. Simple time, right? Okay, it seems to be counting down, right? So that's that's the point of the Swiss Swiss, Swiss wrist watch. Say that five times fast. I would say three, but it seems like most people know how to handle three. So five times fast for you guys. So do do I need to figure out what to do with this uh, pile of rubble? Yes, I know that the large pile of rubble blocks my way. Um, I mean, I don't think I really need to be using the those but we got this friendly wooden I guess I could equip that and then use it I can't use it though um, 
Cigarettes? No. How do I... I can use this. Yeah, that's that's all there is. Well, what else is there then? Um, maybe I should have talked to other people. Didn't seem like I was able to talk to anyone else. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, I mean, there's these guys. How's it stand? Blah, blah, blah. What about time? <coughs> and then there's this guy. But none of the others want to say anything to me. Oh, well, I missed a room, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I did. That could have everything I need in it. Small plank of wood. Didn't get that. And then there's also a vent. Set into the dirt is a strong steel grate mounted in concrete. Maybe you can use your Swiss army knife to open it. Well, let's do that then. Uh, force open inside. This will take 10 minutes and use up the friendly wooden log. Well, whatever. I gotta do it. That was a tight squeeze. Now we just have to find and disable the laser security. From now on, you should know to use your Swiss army knife to access your special MacGyver powers. Okay, sure. Chiny tongue of... Chiny tongue. Tiny chunk. Excusez-moi. Brick. So we got a brick. Um, oh, I can't take... The, the brick. Okay, whatever. But I, do I still have? I guess I still have all that stuff. And the rubble. I guess I can get past most of the rubble. But we got a bunch of bricks here. Bunch of bricks. And more bunch of bricks. And even more bunch of bricks. And the, all this stuff. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to pick up any of it. It's really more a matter of getting to the next area, I suppose. So maybe this is the roguelike part of the game. And here's the laser security, if I'm not mistaken. A laser protects this area. What you gonna do about it? It's a good question. Uh, use smoke and dust to discover exactly where the lasers are and reflect it back into itself. This will take up 20 minutes and use up my pack of cigarettes. Well, I got nothing better to do. Wowzers, did you see that laser explode? It was all smoke and fire and special effects everywhere. Is it me, or is this game supposed to have like ah, I'm so tempted to press okay I can press escape but where are the music and sound effects wasn't it man I hate it when I mess up this part of stuff so and we got another one of you what is this some kind of satchel small one crate every game must have one and found nothing useful another friendly wooden log Sure, just head back up the way I came. Okay, so I guess I need to talk to all these people. Indeed. Office cabinet, nothing useful. Friendly wooden log, friendly wooden log. It's like the chairs just disassembling them entirely. And I did miss that. Oh man, I missed that over there. That's no good, is it? It's no good. Oh, and a fire hose, goodness. Fire hose could be quite useful. Syria has suffered from a cave-in and is impassable. However, you can hear a tapping coming from the other side. You should find a way to get through and find the, the people. Wait, really? Huh. Well, that's no good. Um, I guess I could try my MacGyver skills then. Use water pressure from a fire hose. Okay. Sure. And it uses up two slots. Oh, crap. Um... Let's go find the tapping. I didn't really search the whole last area. I didn't realize that was the the ticket out to the next area. Um, so okay, we've already rescued. Whoa, that's a lot of people. Um, I guess we'll just rescue everybody because everybody needs to be told exactly what we're doing here. And yeah, more fire hose. So that's what the fire hose looks like. I didn't even notice that last time. It just was what it was, and then I did it. So, even more people have been rescued. That's good. And this is a small kettle. And this is uh, three people trapped down here. You need to get them all out. Yes, I do, but I mean, so I guess we'll take the kettle, get that. Uh, another friendly wooden log, and okay, two more people to go. I really hope I didn't mess up by missing people upstairs. Wait, is this brick like any other? I can take brick like any other, though? Huh. Well, 
It sounds like it could be important, so I should take it with me. Interestingly enough, um, it seems like it would make sense to, as a matter of fact, not use the watch because the watch wastes time, and even though you don't know how long the game's taking, uh, it would therefore be less. Oh, there you are, Mr. La or Mrs. Last Scientist. I don't know. There we go. Okay. So now from here, I believe we talk to the person that's actually responsible here. Uh, they're still alive, ma'am. I'm on my way there. Do you know what happened? Right. Are you, <laughs> are you sure? I'll be back in a minute. I guess I should perhaps make sure to take everything I need to take. You never know. You just never know. Uh, like, uh, what do I have with me? Small plank of wood, brick like any other small kettle. So I'm missing a friendly wooden log, am I not? Friendly wooden log. Let's take that. Pick it up. Be the Superman that we always wanted to be. And I guess a fire hose, too. And there we go. Game over, man. Check your score. So th that really was the, the end, huh? List. Look at me. I'm the highest. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that was back to back. Back to back to back to back. Um, but yeah, there's all this. and Oh, that. okay. So that wasn't too bad. Main, what's the difference between main and game? And turn this all the way to 11 just because. Make your time. Did, did, I guess quitting actually worked. Okay, well, anyway, that was that was the game. And it, it's kind of interesting, but, oh, man, you would have to do more with it. Because it's not very, let's just say it's not very roguelike, but I do like the opportunity to just find bunches of random items and mix them together to, to solve your problems. It's basically the whole freeform building block system of roguelikes where you, you find stuff, you make it into other stuff, and you use that to make your way progressing through the game. Uh, the, the only problem with that is it can be a little too random and you somehow need to make it so that what you find is also what you can use and things like that, uh, which is which can become a very complicated uh, procedural system, but in the end it can often be worth it, so you know that's something to look into. Anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing MacGyver the Roguelike, or Mac RL. Join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.